Hello, everybody. Um, welcome to a brand new episode. Um, before we start getting into some of the, the actual code I'd like to show you, I um, wanted to make sure that you could understand what's going on on my screen. I use Vim, which is a really text-based editor. Now, you'll see a lot of people using Sublime or Text Edit or Visual Studio Code. Um, there are a lot of things out there, and there are some integrated development environments, but um, I just really like them. It's really simple for me to use. And I generally uh, just uh, open it up to the directory in which I'm working, and um, and I've got a couple of plugins that make it a little bit non-standard. Um, so, for instance, um, if you're used to the Sublime or Visual Studio Code way of working, you'll see you'll often have a Solution Explorer or something to that effect. Um, and I didn't create this, but uh, I'm I've definitely jacked with them enough to the point where I feel like it's got everything that Visual Studio um, has and more and less, but only the good parts. Um, over here, I've got a uh, completely brand spanking new um, installation of uh, Vim, and it does not have all that pretty goodness. And so the first step in making this look like this is getting Pathogen. And so that's what I'm going to show you today, uh, installing um, sort of a plugin preloader um, for Vim. All right. so. Uh, without further further ado, let's get into it and do a couple of things. If I could type correctly today. Okay. This, of course, Vim Pathogen is uh, by Tim Pope, so we'll be getting his his file here. Oh gosh, taking a step back. This is a ridiculously fresh install of Ubuntu LTS. All right, there we are. Okay, so we're actually using Vim to modify Vim. Yeah. This essentially tells um, Pathogen to run. Um, it's, it's kind of the first uh, pragma in the line in uh, our VimRC.
And there we have it. We've got Vim with uh, Pathogen installed. Uh, in the next ver next episode, we'll uh, figure out things that we can shove into Vim and uh, and what benefits and features and um, caveats there are for each of those plugins.